Now that we've learned how to apply noise through the surface pull down in the tool palette, let's take a look at noise as it applies to brushes. If you open up your brush pop-up, you'll notice that there's a few new noise brushes added here. If I select Noise 3, we can paint noise directly into the geometry on the surface. but you can apply noise to actually any of the brushes in the brush pop-up. For instance, I'll grab the standard brush, and we can see by default the standard brush doesn't have any noise applied to it. I'll go to the brush pull-down, and inside the brush pull-down you'll see that there's a noise option here, just like the noise that we were looking at in the surface pull-down. I'll click noise to activate it for the brush, I can adjust the strength value, the curve, and then paint that noise on the surface. You'll notice down here under the copy button we have scale. We also have a button that says by brush. If you don't want your brush size to affect the scale of the noise, then turn off by brush. Then you can just adjust the scale. Currently we have Z-Add and RGB turned on. Of course you can turn off Z-Add and just use this with color. I'll go down to the Poly Paint pull-down, activate Colorize, you can then see that we're using noise to paint that color green across the surface of our model. Again don't forget that you have two color options when working with noise, color 0 and color 1. Right now I'll change color 0. Choose something like red. And when I paint my noise across the surface, you can see that there's a combination of both the green and the red being painted in. We can switch this over to color 1, which is totally white. And you can see those white speckles added to the green. You can also apply noise to masking. It's done exactly the same way that we applied noise to the brush detail and the color information. With noise activated here in the brush pull-down, simply hold the control key. You'll notice as we paint a mask, that mask is now painted with that noise. You can then sculpt and paint on that masked information. Let me undo that and adjust my curve slightly. hold down the control key, and again paint that noise. Then if I wanted to, I can turn off noise, grab a standard brush, and use that mask to sculpt into the surface. I can then hold control, click and drag to clear that mask. 